Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Brettcast Gaming Talk. So, Activision, a fun topic as always, they've pretty much been swayed by the success and the dollar bills they're having with Call of Duty Mobile. So what does this mean? Why is this relevant or important in the first place? Well, it's a huge deal because mobile games are big in the Chinese market. Not so much here. And what this means with the success of Call of Duty Mobile is that Activision and Blizzard are basically pushing uh, Diablo Immortal, you all remember that one, into testing fast as they can. The other thing that's popular is the Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone thing. I, I always thought that was a part of uh, the current Modern Warfare game. Apparently it's just its own thing. You can just download Warzone and play it. I, I, don't, I don't care about Warzone. Anyway, yeah. Um, but Warzone is popular also because it's free to play and has microtransactions. Again, Activision Blizzard, they just want them dollars. And to go with that, Blizzard is losing players in games like WoW. And um, we all remember Heroes of the Storm failed. I never played it, but Heroes of the Storm failed. And they don't make new IPs anymore. They just, you know, keep rehashing, you know, expansion for WoW, card game, whoopie da dee doo Like, they don't make new anything. So, um, another thing with Blizzard is that the employees at Blizzard are mad because they're not being paid enough. And it's getting so bad there that, like, people can't afford to eat at the Blizzard cafeteria. And the worst example that I highlighted is that a couple stopped talking about having a child because they cannot afford it on their current pay. Now, that's terrible. Blizzard, you guys need to step up your game. You really do. Same with Activision, if it's happening there too. You guys gotta step up your game. Pay your employees what they're worth, or they're gonna leave, and you're not gonna have anyone to make your games ever. So now, why I bring this up is because I am concerned what the implications of this will have for Diablo 4. Diablo 3 is the only Blizzard game that I've ever played, and I enjoy it. Most of the people that I watch, uh, Actman, he didn't get into Diablo 3. He loved 2, he just thought Diablo 3 was boring. I got hooked on it when I started playing it. I mean, it's relatively easy to play, maybe that's why Going from 2 to 3 he thought was super boring or something, but I don't know. A lot of people don't like it, and maybe it's just the fact that I got in at the tail end of Diablo 3, you know, after all of the It's controversies. My friends always tell me about how there were uh, a lot of gambling houses or something like that in it. I don't know, but I just play the game, man. I haven't played in a while, but that's because I've been busy with Far Cry. Anyway, I'm concerned, getting concerned that, you know, all the success of mobile games is going to filter down into bigger titles like Diablo 4, you know. It's going to become some heavily monetized game where, it, you know, where it's like, well, you don't have to pay for it, but... If you want to unlock it through gameplay, it's going to take you a bazillion hours to unlock this blue paint scheme for your sword. They wouldn't really do that. But just roll with my example, okay? It's that kind of thing, where the amount of in-game time is astronomically more than 
Well, just pay us $1.99 and you can buy the blue sword. That's what I'm getting concerned about. Diablo is the only franchise from Blizzard that I like. And I want to be excited for Diablo 4. I do. But I am honestly getting concerned that Diablo 4 is going to be a heavily monetized game. You know, one of those games like uh, the EA Star Wars Battlefront and like uh, Destiny that have, you know, a 10 year roadmap or something like that. As I said, I do enjoy Diablo 3 and I do want to be excited for Diablo 4, but I'm not getting the best feelings about it given that it seems that all the money is the only concern of Activision and Blizzard. They just want all the money. And That's not how you do it, man. They just, they are more concerned about getting all the money over making a game that people will like and will actually want to spend money on. That's the thing these companies don't get. It's like, if you make a good game that people will want to spend money, you're gonna do fine. If you give us Anthem, EA Star Wars Battlefront 2, we're not gonna want to spend money regardless, so. And no, it's not about the U.S. market. They're doing this for China. Because dollar bills speak. That's all I have to say. So if you're out of the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.